representatives in the counties must work together even more closely than they have done in the past. And this they are so directed to do. We will also need to make the most of every bit of skill and experience that we have. The chiefs, nurseries, ought to be revived immediately. With the help of the Kenya Forest Service and the Ministry of Agriculture, the Kenya Forestry Research Institute, as well as community-based organizations. None of this will matter much if we don't preserve the forests we already have. So I must ask county commissioners to integrate conservation and environmental protection into their community policing. We cannot protect our forests and mitigate climate change unless we teach our sons and daughters how to manage our natural resources. So today I must ask the Ministry of Environment and Forestry and the Ministry of Education to consider how best to teach our children a new appreciation of the dangers of climate change and of the necessity of preserving our environment as demanded by the Climate Change Act of 2016. It is important to complete the nationalization of the tree planting effort. So I expect every child in every school in the Republic to be taught to ad adopt and nurture a tree, or for that matter, a number of trees. But that is nowhere near enough. We owe it to those who have suffered these tragedies to teach our children how to make sure their generation never has to witness such tragedies. I expect them to see a clear plan and to present to us a clear plan for the teaching of the re relevant skills in all educational institutions. Indeed, as you will recall, in 2014, I did launch the Green Schools Program, and under that program, 10% of all school land was to be covered by trees. We now ask the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, as well as the Ministry of Education, to ensure that this is done as part of incorporating climate change into our school curriculum. The environmental lesson will not be confined to our children. We have seen that climate change is a deadly threat, but we also know that our environment, with all its natural wealth, offers broad prospects for growth and prosperity. Indeed, it is clear that if we are to achieve the ambitious goals we have set for ourselves in the Big Four, environmental conservation and forestry development must be more prominent than they have been. We in government see potential from new green jobs and entrepreneurial opportunities for our young people. To liberate the energy, innovation, and enterprise of our young people, we will look into arranging opportunities for green bonds and for tax rebates on forest products and for all the other incentives we will need to make the environment work for our young people. That work will be done in partnership with the private sector, many of whom have shown by their contribution to this event and to the relief of the recent tragedies that they are wholly committed to preserving Kenya's environment. I am deeply grateful and I urge those who have yet to commit to come join us now. Come so that we can heal and renew this our land together. Today's tree planting is undertaken on all 47 counties and it will continue in all of them throughout the year until our targets are not just achieved but surpassed. Indeed, to honor all of those who distinguished themselves this year 
And in years to come, I will be establishing a presidential environmental award scheme. For it is time now, ladies and gentlemen, to honor the patriots upon whom the preservation of our natural riches depends. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I once again reach out to every single Kenyan to continue to support us in this agenda of rebuilding our environment, not just for us, but for generations to come. Kimalizia, ataka kushukuru Governor Sonko, amesema hapa ya kwamba na ni ukweli miaka karibu tatu ine iliyopita tulikuja hapa karibu madhare na pamoja na county government ya wakati huo tukakubaliana ya kwamba tutasafisha mji wetu wa Nairobi pamoja na tutaanza programs mpaka at ward level na ndivyo nilihakikishiwa hayakufanyika leo hii tumeanza tena hapa nje na governor amenihakikishia ya kwamba safari hii hatutasimama mpaka tuwe na muji ambao wa Kenya wote haswa wakaaji wa Nairobi watafurahia na watajivunia hii takataka jameni lazima tuimalize au ni namna gani wenzangu 